on this edition of On Record. Elbit Systems demonstrates Legion X system at the Euro Saturday trade fair with a live stream of a heterogeneous autonomous swarm. Successful integration of the Remax 4 remote control weapon station onto the latest Brazilian army Warani vehicle. And Elbit Systems Switzerland opens a new network and digitization center in Utendorf. Hello, I'm Lauren Izo, and we are On Record. Elbit Systems took part in the Euro Saturday 2022 Global Defense and Security Exhibition in Paris, where the company showed off some of its latest innovations. During the trade fair that was attended by leading companies, experts, and officials from around the world, Elbit Systems gave visitors a first glimpse at the robust MRCV, a collaboration with the Israeli Ministry of Defense displayed the wide array of the company's portfolio of turrets and unveiled the DARE multi-mission tactical radar. DARE is capable of simultaneous detection and tracking of thousands of objects of various sizes and velocities, with no need for target prioritization. Elbit Systems also presented a unique demonstration of its Legion X system at the Euro Satori 2022 exhibition, showing off its autonomous mission management capabilities. Legion X is an artificial intelligence-driven platform embedded system that enables a range of unmanned systems across the air, land, and sea domains, as well as sensors, to form heterogeneous swarms which can autonomously undertake a mission. During the demonstration, which was live-streamed from Israel, a combination of unmanned ground vehicles and unmanned aerial vehicles worked in collaboration with ground forces to conduct surveillance of a representative urban area ahead of an assault. Aras Aerospace and Defense, a subsidiary of Elbit Systems in Brazil, is marking the successful integration of a new weapon system, the Remax 4 RCWS, onto the newest armored 4x4 Warani vehicle of the Brazilian Army. This follows a long-lasting collaboration with Elbit Systems on enhancements to the AFV, including the delivery of 300 Remax RCWS on board the Warani 6x6. The new Remax 4 RCWS is lower and lighter, featuring a range of capability enhancements, among them a three times larger ammunition capacity and automatic target tracking capabilities. The Israeli Airborne Firefighting Unit is aiding in firefighting efforts in Cyprus. Within less than 24 hours from when they were first alerted, the Elad squadron operated by Elbit Systems dispatched two firefighting air tractor aircrafts and a delegation of both aircrew and ground crew. The operation took place in difficult high altitude terrain, mostly mountains, spanning dozens of square kilometers beyond the border, and forces dumped nearly 30,000 liters of fire impeding and extinguishing materials to help douse the flames. The mission is part of the G2G collaboration of Israel, Greece, and Cyprus. Since its establishment over a decade ago, the Aerial Firefighting Unit has implemented advanced technologies, interconnecting first responders in the air and on the ground. Squadron pilots perform an average of 200 fire extinguishing missions during each fire season and have accumulated over 15,000 flight hours to date. Elbit Systems of Australia has opened a new facility to develop drone technology for saving lives during natural disasters. The Centre of Excellence for Human-Machine Teaming and Artificial Intelligence is in partnership with the Victorian Government and RMIT University. It will focus on researching, developing and commercialising defence and non-defence technologies, including how to use drones to count the number of people in designated evacuation zones during a disaster, and how to coordinate and communicate the most efficient evacuation routes and ensure everyone is accounted for. Elbit Systems is revolutionizing its operations in Switzerland with a new network and digitization center in Utendorf. The NDC laboratory will enable the integration of existing communication systems, applications, and future technologies into a simulated environment and in real-world scenarios, and is intended to be a hub for industry professionals and experts, including the Swiss Armed Forces. The facility was inaugurated at a special event recently, an important milestone for the company, which has become a leading provider of network-based communications in the country. Elbit Systems has extensive international experience in the supply, integration, and commissioning of digital systems, including in Israel, the Netherlands, Sweden, Austria, Canada, Australia, and more. 
Engineers, programmers, designers, and doctors recently took part in a three day make a thon, building technological solutions to help wounded military veterans. The collaboration is part of a six month long project called Makers for Heroes, involving a number of organizations and companies, including Elbit Systems. IDF veteran David is one of the 15 former soldiers who participated in the event this year. Elbit Systems teams helped create a wheelchair leg shield for David to help overcome constant pain as a result of injuries during his military service. The goal is to create innovative technological solutions that don't exist on the market to help Israeli and foreign wounded soldiers overcome their disabilities. I was part of a special operations unit and got hurt during an exercise in 2001. Elbit Systems has been very generous and helped me work on a whole bunch of different ideas, how to protect my legs, because every kind of touch hurts. That's all for this edition of On Record. For more updates from Elbit Systems, subscribe to our YouTube channel and tap the bell so you don't miss out on our latest videos. I'm Lauren Izo. Thanks for watching.